Hello. I've just found a really good example of how to identify, to identify the two different plantains, so I thought I'd show you. So growing alongside the path, which is plantain's favourite place to grow, and when I say plantain, I mean plantago species, which is a British kind of small herb, not the banana. People tend to think of the plantain banana, which is a completely different tropical plant. But, um, yeah, plantain species. We have... Um, a few different ones in Britain, but the most two common that you're going to come across is our Plantago lanceolata. Now this is this plant here in the front. And at this time of year, which is June, it's quite easy to, or well, I'm just going into June, it's quite easy to identify because they have these very uh, lovely flower heads that have um, stamens sticking out, which produce the pollen but they look like a little satin ring it kind of looks like a grass flower if you know what grass flowers are like and this one the species is plantago lanceolata and that's because the leaves have lance shape leaves um i'm going to pick one of these and move over to plantago major so this is another plant in the same genus so they're related they're both plantagos but this one here is plantago major and Plantago Major has slightly rounder leaves, so if I hold these two leaves next to each other, you can see them. I'm going to pick one of these as well. Now these ones can get really big, I mean both can get really big, they can go up to a couple of feet long. Um, nice identification feature is that they have veins running all the way up the back, both of them do. And at the bottom when you break them, you'll see little threads coming out, and you can peel these up. So they're both used in herbal medicine. We pick the leaves kind of early before they go dry and tough. You can dry them, dry them out, out of the sun because they're one that like to go black while it's in the sun. Uh, and they're used in infusions for allergic rhinitis, hay fever, and um, also in mixes for urinary tract infections. Also things like coughs, they're slightly mucilaginous, which means they're a bit gloopy. But at the same time, they're good at drying up um, like mucus from like rhinitis or coughs so it's a really really handy plant to know because it is so abundant but just remember when you're picking it because they grow at the side of the roads to find a nice road where not too many dogs have weed one thing we didn't just see was a flower of the plantago major because it flowers slightly later but one of its old country names is rat's tails and that's because the stalk flower stalk is really long and whippy so where you saw the lanceolate is about this high if you imagine that entire flower head going all the way down the stem and I'm just about to show you another type of plantain which you might get come across uh, which is plantago media so this is plantago media the leaves look very similar to um, plantago major but they're a lot more fuzzier they're like quite furry and um, it's quite ornamental as well the flowers are really particularly beautiful so it's like a really large version of the Plantago lanceolata and they have a purple haze to them, really, really pretty. Um, not quite as common as the other two, but you might come across it. And all three can be used interchangeably. And here we have them all three together. On the left here is Plantago lanceolata, in the middle Plantago media, and on the right the leaf of the Plantago major. <laughs>